हेलो एवरी वन सो आई नो दैट दिस वॉज द मोस्ट अवेटेड वीडियो ईगरली वेटेड वीडियो आफ्टर द पासिंग पैकेज ऑफ द प्रीवियस सब्जेक्ट माइक्रोवेव एंटेना आई नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर वेटिंग फॉर दिस सो दैट्स वाई आई थॉट टू बी नॉट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम एंड प्रोवाइडिंग टूडे इट्स ओके पासिंग पैकेज सो दैट फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन इट वुड बी वेरी ईजी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम आई हैव टेकन टू आवर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन आई हैव सीन सम ऑफ द प्रीवियस यर पेपर्स सम अदर वीडियोज एंड शॉर्टलिस्टेड सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट from each module around 5 to 6 question i have shortlisted please 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 refer it okay please my passing packages are accurate definitely would be passing simply i won't write 100% pass it is with proof okay in the previous video you have seen it in a mod, uh, like question paper analysis of microwave some of the most of the questions have been repeated okay so please please in this uh, for this subject i won't be keeping the membership it's a theory subject for every, everybody it's public okay it's free so please refer it guys i'll tell you each module important questions please like this video this your like would be very very important to us okay that would be really motivating us to do better in future please like this video subscribe to our channel and uh, do watch this video till the end okay so let us start now for it with module 1 in module 1 the first question which is fixed is what is data communication explain its component i'll tell you i guess this would be the 1a question okay from module in the final paper this would be 1a data communication and explain its component so i'll predict it right now i don't know my prediction whether it's correct or wrong but still this is very important guys second one explain different physical structures and network types along with the need diagram okay under physical structures that is basically the physical topologies so there are four topologies i've discussed it mesh star bus and ring and network types are lan wan man those things i've discussed it so watch the video and uh, study it okay so with some materials i'll provide it in the in my playlist i already provided it in my playlist description go and access it and study it okay yeah so third one with a neat diagram illustrate the concepts of encapsulation and decapsulation so this is happening with the tcp ip protocol suit in that i've explained it in detail how the encapsulation and decapsulation is done go and watch the video and please please study this okay from module 1 third question fourth question with a neat diagram explain the significance of tcp ip protocol suit along with its layers okay so you should be drawing the layers of tcp ip protocol suit diagram along with the uh, data flow and some of the layers so there are total five layers physical layer uh, transport layer network layer uh, data link layer application layer so these five layers you should be explaining all of them okay so yeah next question is distinguish between tcp ip model versus osi model so this is fixed guys please study it next next one is explain multiplexing and demultiplexing okay so yeah please refer these six questions from module 1 so just take a screenshot of it and uh, uh, please learn these questions first give the priority for these questions first while you while you prepare for module 1 okay after that you study some like, additional concepts so yeah let's get to module 2 now in module 2 again i have shortlisted around six questions first question is with neat diagram explain the address resolution protocol and the arp packet format this also i have covered it in my, one of my videos in module 2 check out the playlist and uh, please refer it okay this is very important there are high chances that they might be uh, appear, giving this question uh, in module 2 section so second question explain architectural comparison of wireless lans and list its characteristics this is also multiple times repeated in the previous year question papers and uh, along with the model paper as well so yeah not the accurate i don't know that i have one model paper with me i don't know whether that's accurate or not i will share it with you guys in the i'll put it in the description just uh, let me know whether that's the accurate model paper or not okay yeah so with the in that i've seen it this question was repeated so i thought of uh, listing this one third question is explain ca this is sure guys okay one one would be definitely asked either csma cd or csma ca okay i've covered it in one, one of my videos go and check it explain csma cd or csma ca along with its flow chart and finite state model fsm okay please please give priority for this question first when you study module 2 okay other concepts are easy but this is a bit tricky we have an fsm model and flow chart for that uh, in that notes you go and refer it please please study first this question from module 2 okay this is a fixed question next question is again repeated question that is explain bit stuffing and unstuffing and character stuffing and unstuffing so this is also called as byte stuffing okay so these are two different words to represent please go through this also 
and fifth one aloha throughput problem one question from aloha throughput is definite okay there are two types of aloha one is pure aloha and slotted aloha for uh, there is a slight change in the formula for throughput for pure and slotted aloha i have done one video with respect to that aloha please go and watch it in that i have uh, solved one example problem which would which would make you very clear how to sol solve the problem with respect to aloha go and watch it and be ready okay Sixth one, explain frame format of standard Ethernet. So this is not so important, but since this was repeated, I thought uh, to be mentioning this. So I'll just I'll write it as optional here if you want to study. Okay, frame format of standard Ethernet. So this was from module two. Now let's get to module three now. Again, there are five questions from module three which you need to be covering. First question is, explain the following with algorithms. So this is definite guys. One question, either distance vector or path vector would be definitely asked, okay, in uh, either the first part or second part of module 3, okay. Please learn this, I have done separate videos, very easy guys, okay. Next question is, explain classless and classful addressing along with the examples. So this also I have covered it in one of my videos and uh, this is very important, so please go through it. Third one, explain the working of DHCP, that is dynamic host configuration protocol. So this is also very important. Along with the flowchart, you need to be explaining this concept. So there is a lot of uh, theory and some diagrams to be written here. So please, please focus it and study well. Okay. Fourth question is write a short note on IPv4 addressing and datagram addressing. So I've done the video with respect to IPv4 addressing. Go and watch it. Uh, it is very easy. Okay. Fifth question is explain the links. So this, this question is there, right? I didn't mention this separately in this because they would be definitely asking this separately. Okay. Either one of these two is fixed in one part and this question would be asked separately along with the Digikistra's algorithm. So that's why I mentioned this question separately here. That is explain link state routing with examples and also apply Digikistra algorithm to find the least cost path 3. Okay. So this is a sure question guys, 100% confirmed question that they would be definitely asking this. Okay. So please study this question. So let's get to module 4. Explain UDP services along with neat diagram of pseudo header for checksum. So this is yet to be done in my playlist. I'll update it in a, uh, by tomorrow I'll update it. So uh, don't worry. So this is also a fixed question. Please uh, go through it from the notes. List of the TCP features, TCP segment format with neat diagram. This is also very important. Go through it. Third one, explain go back end protocol along with sliding window diagram. This also I've covered it in one of my videos. Go through it. This is very important. Fourth one, describe the connectionless and connection uh, connection oriented services provided by the transport layers. So the TCP uh, transport layer services in that I have discussed with this concept and selective repeat protocol. Okay, these questions are some of the important from module four. Go through it. And module five is very the easiest module. Okay, so only theory part, nothing much. And easily in own words, you could be attempt attempting these questions. Okay, very easy guys. Okay, I'll share the, I already shared the notes. Go through it and study these questions. These four questions only would be asked, they would be asking. Okay, all these four are important. For 10, 10 marks, each question they would be asking it. Okay, that is explain DNS namespace, DNS in internet and resolution. Explain the following HTTP, FTP. HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol. FTP is file transfer protocol and explain architecture and format of electronic mail or email distinguish between local and remote logging okay so these four questions only if you study it's more than enough you would be definitely scoring marks in this module 5 okay so yeah these were the important questions from uh, all the five modules which i wanted to discuss with you guys i hope this five this video would be useful for you guys please share this video to max okay i want all of you who are watching this video to share this video with your friends because we are having less time to be preparing for this exam and I want each and everyone to be passing this exam with flying colors because this subject is not difficult for studying but it is difficult for writing okay the evaluator expects a lot from you guys in in this subject okay one one answer if they ask for 10 10 marks minimum two and a half to three pages minimum okay maximum four to five pages for each answer so write and practice all the questions writing is very very essential for this subject for each question you have to write a lot of stuff okay so if you need to be filling the pages guys then only you would be getting the maximum marks okay i won't be telling full marks because for this subject getting full marks is very difficult okay it's like the language english subject you had for 10th standard right 
you won't be getting full marks for all the questions the same thing with this subject okay so don't expect full 10 10 marks for all the questions it's impossible you won't be getting i also won't be getting so how much ever is possible write it and study neatly you should be writing all the diagrams okay use pencil scale or pen a uh, pen scale whatever you use use scale while drawing the diagrams it would be looking in a neat manner and the evaluator would be impressed and he won't be seeing the theory part what you write okay diagrams should be highlighted in whatever answers you attempt please highlight the diagrams very well draw it neatly then only you write the theory part don't only write the theory they won't be even seeing the theory sometimes if the mood is uh, spoiled of the evaluator if the evaluator mood is spoiled directly they would be giving you wrong marks and putting zero okay don't ever do that whatever diagrams are associated please write it for that question and present the answer in a very neat manner okay i have done one video how to write a theory subject in uh, in this playlist only it is available check that video once and uh, be prepared for writing this paper okay so yeah that's all for this video guys i hope you this video would be uh, helpful for you guys and all the playlist videos are available for free for all the for all the students for this i will not keep the membership because uh, there is no time. There is only one and a half days left. So why simply wasting your money for one and a half days? So please uh, access all the videos. Okay. So yeah, all the best for the upcoming exams. Please watch this. Thank you.